the senior assistant commissioners of police for general security, and one of the commander of police, uh, where uh, Swami
katika madawati tukeshawaletea hawa ndio maafisa tuliowafundisha baada sisi kustrada kutafuta hapa na pale resources tukawafundishia tukiwaleta kule wale sasa mnawaondoa hamwapeleki tena kufanya kazi katika nini madawati na wakati mwingine ambayo ni mbaya zaidi tukiwaambia tuleteeni watu tuwape taaluma mnatuletea na secretary wenu kwa sababu we are thinking they will be get something pesa ah wewe nenda kapate hiyo taaluma sasa yule akija akirudi umweke tena yule mapenzi uliokuwa nayo kumpeleka wapi unamweka kule kule kwenye nini kuna hapo kwenye meza yako aendelee kusubiri semina nyingine hili nalo ni changamoto elimu imetolewa nyingi kwa maafisa wengi lakini bado unapofika katika madawati unakuta bado taaluma ndogo taaluma ndogo kama alivyosema kwa juu sio ndogo tushapewa sana lakini makamanda hawa wanachokifanya yule tunampa taaluma sio anayempanga katika katika dawati kwa hiyo bado tatizo linabakia ndani ya maeneo yetu Nyingine ni commitment. Wengi sisi hatuna commitment na na hii. Na ndio maana tuna face challenges nyingi. Sifikiri na sijawahi kuona au kusikia kwamba angalau kamanda anayetembelea hayo madawati. Ikiwa ni pamoja na kupeleka hiyo sufficient number ya polisi na vitu vingine kuhakikisha eh maafisa wanapata elimu wanakwenda katika mada hayo yote kwamba inaonekana kwa ile commitment yetu katika mada wati haya nayo inaendelea kuwa inakuwa ndogo Naitwa Koshuma Mtengeti ni mkurugenzi wa shirika la jukwaa la utoto mtoto yani CDF. E, leo hii hapa tunakutana na e, makamanda na makamishna wa polisi kutoka mikoa yote Tanzania bara na visiwani. Na lengo kubwa la kukutana hapa ni kujadiliana masuala mazima ya haki jinai hasa hasa kwa watoto ambao wamepitia ukatili wa kingono. Tumekuwa tukifanya kazi na jeshi la polisi kwa takriban miaka kumi sasa na changamoto kubwa ambayo tumekuwa tukiiona ambayo pia imetukusanya hapa ni pamoja na kuongezeka kwa kesi za ukatili dhidi ya watoto na hasa ukatili wa kingono ambazo zinaripotiwa kwenye vituo vya polisi lakini pia kumekuwa na kesi chache ambazo zinafika mahakamani. Kwa mfano tumesikia taarifa ya polisi e, kwamba kuna mikoa ambayo inaongoza kwa ukatili dhidi ya watoto, kwa mfano mkoa wa Arusha, mkoa wa Tanga, mkoa wa Ilala, imekuwa na matukio zaidi ya elfu moja ya watoto katika kipindi cha miezi sita ya mwaka huu. Lakini vile vile ukiangalia takwimu za mwaka jana pia kumekuwa na matukio mengi matukio zaidi ya 1040 yameripotiwa ya ukatili wa kijinsia katika vituo mbalimbali vya ya polisi lakini tunataka kuona kwamba sasa ni hatua gani zimechukuliwa na kuna changamoto gani kwa kiasi gani matukio ambayo yameripotiwa kesi zinafika mahakamani tumeona tulifanikiwa kusanya hukumu kama 45 katika mikoa nane ambayo inaonyesha kwenye matukio ya ukatili wa, wa, wa kingono lakini bado ni chache na kama mvuasikia polisi wenyewe wanasema kikubwa zaidi ni kwamba ni kesi gani tutaweza kuzuia matukio haya yasitokee badala ya kutaka pia kesi zifike mahakamani Thank you. Yes, sadly, Ireland has quite a long and sad history of domestic violence, um, interrelationship violence and sexual violence against children. We've learned many, many things. One, one thing that's particularly relevant, I think, is our community policing model. It is extremely rooted in the community, so we tend to know the people and the issues before they get reported to help people to report. Um, the teachers and the social workers, we have quite a strong system of plays, quite a role. But also the, the survivors who had networks, they, they were a big force for change in the country. The con our country um, has really transformed over the last 40 or 50 years and many issues weren't discussed, particularly taboo for the Catholic Church. It was felt that many things couldn't be spoken about openly. And that has changed a lot, and a lot of it came from public mobilization. So, um, the outcomes of this meeting, well, I, I suppose the outcomes of this meeting will be decided today and tomorrow, but I'm very hopeful that the outcomes will be that um, the police officers uh, will uh, 
be hopefully learning from each other and we'll be learning from them and that we can improve collectively that the practice and procedures for investigation and prosecution of cases of child sexual abuse uh, can be improved. Okay, and uh, uh, in this year, 2021, we expect uh, what in this case? I think the first thing is to bring, you know, I was out in Mapuapua last week with some of my colleagues from the Children's Dignity Forum and talking to the magistrates who are dealing with these cases and um, there's a few things at play. One of the key things is talking to the communities, talking to them about what they should expect and what are their rights. Um, if you live in an urban area, in any country, I think you have much more familiarity with your rights because of the situation. But if you're from a rural area in particular, it's much more difficult because you're not as familiar with uh, the state, with the, with the police officers, because it's not as normal a presence in one's life. So I think the first part of that is making people aware of their rights, making people aware of what they should expect from the people who serve them, the police officers. The Tanzanian police force serve the people of Tanzania.